That really quieted down, didn't it? Holy smokes. Welcome. Welcome to the University of North Dakota and the UND Athletics. I, uh, 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 the facility we're in now, I knew I was going to blow that. This isn't that a fabulous facility, though. This is, in Brian Faison's words, a game changer for us. High performance center. Uh, and it truly is a high performance center. I've got two roles, and one of them is to welcome you, and the other is to make an introduction. But first, I just want to say a few thank yous. We've literally had thousands of people who've helped us get to this point today. We're very happy to get to this point. Uh, we have uh, folks who work with us on a couple of committees, the Nickname Process Recommendation Task Force, the Nickname Committee, Logo Process Selection Committee, the Unity Graphic Identity RFP Evaluation and Recommendation Committee, because higher education likes long names. Those people gave of their time, of their, of their selves, to help us get to this point, and we really, really appreciate it. This is a day about celebrating who we've been for 130 years. You look around this room and you see these photos. You see those in the uh, Ralph Engelstead Arena. You see that in the Memorial Union, our Alumni Center. This is a place that treasures its history, its traditions, but it's also a place that's forward-looking. And we've been very pleased in the last six months to have somebody working with us who's very forward-looking, a man of great integrity. I can't think of anybody else who could lead people through a $21.5 million dollar uh, budget reshaping and still get awards from students and from alumni, get accolades from staff and, uh, and faculty. And so it's my great pleasure to introduce the great president of the University of North Dakota, Edward Schaefer. Thank you, Peter. Thanks for the great introduction. I guess I can just go home now. <laughs> thank you. Okay. But um, thank you all for joining us. Welcome. This is a great day in America, and certainly a really great day at the University of North Dakota. I'm happy to see so many of you here. Um, this is gonna be a fun time, and we really appreciate you joining us for this unveiling. Um, I did see um, Brad Berry here somewhere. I, don't, well, he's, I think he's here. <laughs> Coach Berry, uh, we didn't think Coach was gonna be able to make it today as he's off to um, the NF, uh, NHL draft where some UND players are expected to go off in the first round. But we do thank you for changing your schedule, Brad, to uh, be with us here uh, for this time. Um, you know, we really had a fun time in Tampa. What a great weekend and bring home the national championship. Um, so thank you for that as well. If someone had told me when I was a student here 50 years ago, that I would one day be president of this great university and that during my short tenure as president, I'd see our hockey team win a national championship and I'd get to introduce the new logo for our university. Well, who would have believed that? Uh, certainly not me. But this whole experience has been a thrill. I was always proud of my university, but as president, what I've seen and come to know here on campus is the excellence of this great institution. And it's all over the place. So many outstanding programs and faculty members, dedicated and hardworking staff, bright and engaged and energetic students, and top-notch facilities like this High Performance Center. The University of North Dakota really is a remarkable place. But that doesn't really surprise me, and I hope it doesn't surprise you either. Excellence is our tradition. And what a great way to celebrate our traditions of excellence in UND athletics and our long treasured tradition of championship athletics in all sports. This tradition goes back to just about the founding of our university in 1883. It's grown and it's thrived over decades, more than a century's worth in all of our sports. We have hung national championship banners in basketball, football, swimming, diving, and track. And this next semester, we'll raise up our eighth championship banner for UND hockey. What an accomplishment. And what a proud history and proud tradition of grit and determination in the arena of never, never giving in and never giving up, of going the distance, and of showing high class and high character on and off the field, 
our athletes are truly champions off the field, on the court, on the field, on the ice, and in the classroom, posting a cumulative GPA of at least 3.0 every semester. And, that's, and they've also contributed thousands of hours of service to our community. I would have liked to add a GPA that good. But, um, uh, you know, they really do well. And it's so exciting that, you know, I, I just couldn't be any more proud of our student athletes and our coaches and our entire athletics program. So now we are at an historic moment in a program that has had lots of chapters in our UND history. We've played under a number of nicknames and several different logos. Last year, we started a new chapter when we voted on a new nickname for our teams, the Fighting Hawks. Today, we complete that chapter as we reveal the logo under which our teams will march to victory. Today, we complete the Fighting Hawks with a new look. The University of North Dakota has a proud and rich tradition since its founding in 1883. The state's flagship university, UND, has a reputation for research and scholarship in health sciences, energy and the environment, law, liberal arts, aerospace and entrepreneurship. In 1889, the same year North Dakota became a state, UND athletics teams were also born. We were unofficially known as the Nodaks, laying the foundation of championships and excellence. From the beginning, we were driven, proud, unified. A new identity took shape for the university as UND adopted its first official nickname, the Flicker Tales, in 1911. We set school records, won our first conference titles, and established a tradition of excellence. Two decades later, in 1930, UND changed to a new nickname, the Fighting Sioux. Under this name, we competed on the Olympic stage, earning medals and worldwide acclaim. We won 11 NCAA championships and more than 120 individual national championships. In November, we became the Fighting Hawks and have continued our tradition of greatness once again champions at the conference and national levels. Over time, the nicknames have changed, the logos have changed, but as history reminds us, our tradition does not change. It will only grow. We will continue to strive and thrive, to win championships, to send athletes to the Olympic podium, judges to the bench, and astronauts into space. We will soar. We are the Fighting Hawks. We are the University of North Dakota. We are forever UND proud. and the word mark are the work of SME branding. By the way, the word mark is just how we spell out North Dakota and the name of the team. Um, SME spent much time on our campus, uh, countless conference phone calls. Um, they were here in the beginning of the spring and the semester. They listened to what a lot of people had to say about our university and our athletic programs, and importantly, about our state. They talk to students and athletes and coaches and others in athletics. They talk to faculty and staff and alumni, community members and representatives of UND's American Indian programs. They did an excellent job of translating what they heard, that we've had a long and proud championship tradition, that we are determined and persevere on the playing field, that we are proud of our state and our heritage and that we are proud of our accomplishments and looking forward to more. They used that input to shape the newest logo and the word mark for the future of UND. And here's what SME Branding had to say about their work. Their president, Ed O'Hara, said 
this is a defining moment for both the University of North Dakota and SME. We approached this project with great care and respect to reflect the brand's significance within the community. The deep love for UND athletics was truly palpable amongst every constituent of the UND family that we met with and listened to. This collaborative process was essential to create an identity that embodies the great state of North Dakota and the proud passion of UND's fan base. It was through that collaborative process with the university and its closest stakeholders that SME created a future forward identity that is sleek and elegant. It is totally unique. The primary logo features that stoic hawk head icon, emphasized by a resolute hawkeye to personify the persistence, the hard work, and the determination of UND student athletes. The icon rests within that ND ligature to place UND athletics at the heart of North Dakota. Paired with the mark, you will see a complete suite of word marks for the UND Fighting Hawks. These have been constructed in a manner that is streamlined and expressive to reflect the power and the speed of UND student athletes. The serified N for North Dakota and the angular cuts of the font are inspired by the wings of a soaring hawk. The logo that was created and fine-tuned after a number of focus groups and concept, concept testing that include members of a wide variety of stakeholder groups, it features that determined hawk emboldened and embedded in the North Dakota Fighting Hawks. It is embedded in UND Green, and it is distinctive word mark proclaims North Dakota and North Dakota Fighting Hawks. As you can see how the logo and the word mark might look on uniforms, apparel, and in other uses, I'd like to emphasize to you that what we're about to show are not the new UND uniforms, but just a rendition of what this logo might look like on our uniforms of the future. So keep in mind um, that these are uniform concepts, as I said, but after today, we will begin working with our vendors to create merchandise that you'll be able to buy in the retail shops. It's gonna take a while, though, so mark August 13th on your calendars for our retail logo launch around the state. To tell us how athletics will use this new logo, I'd like to introduce our athletic director. I've gotten to know our athletic director, Brian, um, quite well in my almost six months here. And I have to tell you, I have supreme confidence in his work and his effort. Our outstanding athletic director for our outstanding athletic programs, please welcome Brian Faison. Thank you, Ed, and, and uh, wherever Nancy is, thank you for allowing us to borrow him. It's been, it's, been a, it's been an interesting time, for sure, and I appreciate very much the confidence that Ed has shown uh, in us in the athletic department as we move forward. This took uh, a tremendous amount of engagement by so many people, and I'm going to take just a second to do what Peter's done and what the President has done and say thank you again to the thousands of people that were engaged in this process in all different manner. Everything from students to faculty to university administrators, university staff, community members, alumni, coaches, and particularly our student athletes who represented their fellow student athletes so well throughout this process. That engagement was incredible. This is truly an exciting day for us uh, in UND Athletics, a historic day for the program. 
The president asked the question, I guess, basically, what's next? And uh, how, uh, what we're going to do and what, we're, what athletics is going to do with the new logo, and we're going to use it right now. And uh, when you, as you leave here, you will already see transitions being made in video, in video or excuse me, digital and print media that, that, uh, that we control. That will happen immediately. Uh, this will be a process of transition that's going to take a little more time in certain areas than other, uh, others, obviously facilities. We've been in conversation with our different facility partners and we'll work hard to make sure this transition is affected as quickly as possible. But in some instances, it's going to take a little time uh, because there's some expenses and some timing issues with use of facilities that will have to be addressed. But at the end of the day, that's where we're going. And then specifically to uniforms, and, and we got a chance to see a little bit what it might look like. Um, some of those situations are going to take a little longer than others because, quite frankly, most of our uniforms have been ordered months ago. So we'll transition to that as fast as we can along with team gear. But the intent is to make that transition as quickly as we can and to make sure that uh, there's an opportunity for our teams to represent as quick in that process as we can. And the last thing I'll leave you with is, and the President mentioned this as well, and that's merchandise. And we want to get the merchandise out as quickly as we can. We want everybody wearing Fighting, fighting Hawks, but uh, we want to make sure that our vendors have the time to produce the quality and quantity of items that we expect and want out there for you. So he mentioned August 13th, so be sure to be looking for August 13th when all this will roll out and you'll be able to wear uh, Fighting Hawks uh, gear. It's now my pleasure to introduce a gentleman who has had a great impact in his program in an incredibly short period of time, done a fantastic job uh, in taking us to a 7-4 and four mark last year uh, with football uh, and uh, their academics. They completely turned it around. I mean, his coaching staff under Bubba's leadership have done a great job. Our head football coach, Bubba Schweiger. Coach? Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Ed. Peter. I'm, uh, my father isn't with us anymore, but uh, I just addressed a former governor by his first name, but that's what he prefers, but my dad's not happy. <laughs> uh, that's just the way we did it back home. And uh, I'm going to share some stories, maybe, some personal stories today and some feelings that I have about this day. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming today and everybody that has joined us on the internet and uh, electronically. It, it truly is an exciting day. I know I'm very excited as we move forward at UND and Fighting Hawks Athletics. I also want to point out that it's very important to respect the tradition and our past all those who played under different names, different logos. I know in our football office, we respect those that have come before us and allow us to practice in a facility like this, allow us to have the support that we do because they were so important to us. It's no different than when I show up at the office every day. I've made it known countless times, I'm just humbled to be in the position I am, and I'm humbled to be in front of you today to represent our football program and our athletic department, but uh, I think about Lennon and Thomas and Helling and Murphy and Olson and Zaz and all those guys who were head coaches before. It's always important. I feel really important that we give them their due, as I just mentioned, those who came before us on the fields, the courts, the pool, ice. Really important. Personal story I'm going to share with you. Uh, we had a son born in 2003 in my previous time here, and it was a wild day for me. You know, a lot of people don't wait till they're 40 to have their first kid. Um, and uh, we had this baby, but while this process was going on, all this coaching and nurses in and out and all this, the twins happen to be on TV. I'm a big baseball fan. So while I'm supposed to be coaching this, uh, they call it Lamaze, I think, um, I didn't really pay attention in those classes, I gotta be honest. But I was supposed to be coaching, but I was watching the twins out of the corner of my eye, and they happened to have a player, A.J. Prasinski. Well, that night, 
he hit a grand slam home run and a three-run homer, so the Twins won. And we had decided if we have a boy, we did it the old-fashioned way in 2003, yet we decided to wait to see, well, we had a boy, and we decided if it's a boy, his name's going to be Alexander Johan. And Alexander Johan, and Johan is spelled with a J, so he's born, and Laura and I think it's really going to be cool to call him AJ, because AJ Przinsky did so well that night. So we called him AJ forever. Everybody called him AJ. Family, friends, we introduced our baby as AJ, and we're down in Southern Illinois, and AJ's in third grade, second half of his school year. He came home and he said, Dad, can I be Alex? And boy, I was like, God, but it was so cool. AJ hit a grand slam. I didn't say anything to him. It's so cool. Don't you understand what happened that night? You weren't only born. AJ hit a grand slam, a three-run homer. But you know what? I said, yeah, buddy, you can be Alex. And I love Alex as much as I loved AJ. But he wanted to be called Alex. And I love this university. And I love the direction we're going. And it's really important that we feel that way about this change and this transition. You know, we were asked a few months ago, hey, how are you going to approach this? And in the uh, football office, I said, hey, it's going to be a new name, it's going to be a new logo, but the same vision. The same vision we had as a staff when we got together January 15, 2014. And I'll, our vision is real simple. It's real simple. We want to work hard every day. And we want to move our football program to the top of the big sky. That means we're in the tournament. That means that we have an opportunity to take care of our ultimate goal, and that is to bring an FCS national championship to UND in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I know Coach Barry's here today, and we appreciate him coming. I know he's got to run here in a little bit. I have so much respect and admiration for our hockey program, what they accomplished this past spring. It's just awesome. Awesome what they did and what they endured throughout, this, throughout the season. But I even have a greater respect for what they're about every day. And we hear it, it rolls off the captain's tongue, the assistant captains, the coaches, the fourth line, the third line, they're all talking about team first attitude, hard work, their culture, in the building, in the rink. I now refer to it as the rink. That's pretty good for a guy that got up here in 1989 and didn't know hockey even changed on the fly. I thought you had to check in to get into the game like basketball. <laughs> but I have so much respect for their day-to-day -day operation and so much admiration for what they accomplished. As we move through the summer and the fall, I can assure you UND football is going to embrace this logo and what it represents. It's going to represent a competitive spirit. It's going to represent commitment to the program. It's going to represent, represent no man is more important than the program, from the head coach on down to the last guy on the roster. It's going to represent what we want to be in the classroom, and that's top-notch student-athletes. 
going to represent who we want to be in the community, who we want to be in the Midwest when we volunteer. Whatever we do, we want to represent excellence. It's going to represent a determined group of individuals to accomplish something that has never been done at our university, and that's an FCS championship. We're going to be smart, tough, physical on offense. We're going to be relentless on defense, and that's what that logo is going to represent. I will share with you today that logo, when we take the field September 1st out in Stony Brook, it's going to be on our helmet. When we take the field against Bowling Green, it's going to be on our helmet. And when we come home September 17th, the Potato Bowl and take on the University of South Dakota, we're going to proudly run out with that logo on our helmet because we know who we want to be and what we represent. I will never tell our followers how to feel, how to react, but I will do this. I will lead our football team and challenge our guys day after day to embrace this great time in our university, wear that logo with pride, and I will do this with all our great followers right here in Grand Forks, you here today, and all those across the country and the world. I'm going to ask you to help us in this mission to keep the University of North Dakota great, fighting Hawks athletics, make it special, and together, we will do it from this day forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bubba. Thank you, Bubba, for the great comments, the great send-off. We really appreciate that. Thanks again for all of you to be here. We do have some coffee and drinks and cookies um, and things to share while we mill around. Uh, all of us will be available for one-on-ones with media, um, if you so choose. And um, I would just like to um, close uh, with a mission. You know, one certainly is to ask for God's blessings on this new logo and on this university as we march forward. And secondly, I think we should all stand up and sing. Stand up and sing. Stand up and sing. Oh, no, no, no.